It's time for Declare Your Independence with Ernest Hancock. Believe me when I say we have a difficult time ahead of us. But if we are to be prepared for it, we must first shed our fear of it. I stand here without fear because I remember. I remember that I am here not because of the path that lies before me, but because of the path that lies behind me. I remember that for 100 years we have fought these machines. And after a century of war, I remember that which matters most. We are still here! No fear, even though we got a lot to be a feared about, but I tell you what we're gonna do today. We gotta we're gonna learn something. We're gonna learn something, we're gonna learn something on a couple different things. In the second hour, we have Addison Wiggins from Agora Financial, and uh, you know, he he he's boy got going on. There Empire of Debt is a book that he wrote, and he and Bill Bonner are always giving us good information uh, here on Freedoms Phoenix, man. We we're always checking out what they got to say, and he has honored me by coming on, and he's gonna give us all what fur. I there is so much stuff going on that you can't contain it in just the United States media. I mean, even the alternative media. There is stuff going on in every single country around the world. There are people with resources that are going, you know what? Um, Where can I be free? Estonia? Okay, I'll go there. They won't bother me? Good. They they appreciate my money? All righty then. Well, you know, this is happening all over. The, the world is, a, is, the, is the playground for a lot of people and they got bullies. Oh, yeah, the playground's got bullies. Then they government. And it's not just little It's the overriding government of we're going to get you kind of. So what do we have? Julian Assange is uh, they say bail. Right? Give them bail. Get them. But they don't let them out. Hold them 48 hours. Why? Because the United Kingdom, they said, yeah, he's got, you know, his house, a mansion here. He can go hang out. with well, whatever. We know where he's at. You know, and Sweden's going, nope, we appeal. Why would Sweden appeal? I thought Sweden was kind of, hey man, I you know I don't even I, I don't even have an opinion. No, it's the United States. What do they got on them? I don't know. We just look at more WikiLeaks and find out. <laughs> so they're going to hold him for another forty-eight hours and find out what's what. Then we'll see. Because if he goes to Sweden, the United States government is going to want him. This is this is playing out uh, interesting. We all should pay attention because is there anywhere? It's all of a sudden, planet Earth got small. And there are people that, you know, they want to just survive this thing. You know, my wife has been out looking for She found some, she found a property out in the east, 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 east valley, way out in yonder in Santan Flats, kind of, you know, southeastern part of the valley. She goes, ooh, this is the place, honey, you need to come look at this place. And I'm going, all right, can I have chickens? Yep. Have goats? Yep. You know, I got extra building, put all our stuff and this and operate and do and kind of away from the, yep. I'm going to go take a look. We'll see what's what. And that's just, uh, you know, a, a year as we're getting ready and building out in our, you know, storage container, shipping kind of whatever, get it mobile and put it on a train and send it somewhere, ship, whatever. Go. I, I'm getting mobile. I'm getting ready where I can just go. Because they, you know, they don't you think they just want to get rid of me? I was like, I'll go somewhere else, man. It's all good. Because, you know, when by the time they want to go after me, they got bigger problems. You know what I mean? There are lots of problems. And I just want to survive this thing as I do want you to survive it. Well, there's other things that we need to worry about. We got, uh, you know, this food thing. You know, I, we, we went through this. And we'll have Addison Wiggins in the second hour. So you guys stay tuned for that. And the, what we did, wait a minute. I've got an echo. Turn two off. Got it. There we go. So what we did is we go, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a um, uh, a talk today with Janine Zucker. I've known her for over a year and we became friends and we were doing uh, a lot of uh, the election in 08 with Dr. Paul. So I guess it's been over a couple of years. So what happened was, is we had an opportunity to look close up at the elections, you know, cause I, I'm going, I, I know how this process works. You guys go through the election process and you start, you know, trying to follow the 
memory cards as they go through, and you'll see what happens. You want to know where the election fraud is? It's right in here. Well, Janine and her mother went out, and they go, hey, man, let me tell you a story of what happened to us. Well, we got to talking and so on. She became friends with some of the other activists here and such. Come to find out, you know, she's really you know, up on this Codex Alimentarius that they're trying to implement worldwide coming out of Europe. So we've been paying attention to that since the 90s when they were trying to put some kind of control and jurisdiction over supplements and minerals and, and vitamins and this kind of thing. They've been wanting to come here. Now, they, I, I don't know what it is about America that makes it so tough for them to be able to, I mean, they're going to do what they're going to do. It's just they got to they got to have more multiple layers of uh, corruption. Because in other countries, their process is a little bit different. Here in America, the states themselves have their own layers. They have to get intertwined with the federal government. They have to get more and more corrupt. They have to be more and more related. To, and they're trying to extricate themselves with this, you know, sovereignty movements and states' rights and individual rights. and all. So it's just, it's, it, it's still a psyop. It's still trying to convince us that it's for our best interest. But we need the central command of our food because they can. So I, I, we wanted to get someone that we've talked to other people before. Well, Janine, she's like, I know everything, everything. I want to share everything with you. So let's go ahead and introduce Janine. Janine, you know, how is it that you uh, became aware of this stuff, started studying it, and it was of concern to you? A while back, several years back, I um, went to uh, – Oklahoma State University to take some workshop courses on labeling and food ingredients and found that we didn't have truth in labeling. And that took me into the different laws that they're putting in place on how our food is being produced and then labeled to us. And they're, they're, they're hiding the ingredients. They, they have all these buzzwords. And okay, 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 okay. Before I forget it, there's one buzzword. This is what I want to know. I go now, and, and you get ketchup now, and you can buy ketchup. Hunt's ketchup. It, it's, it's no high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup, free, okay? And you read the ingredients, and, you know, it looks good, looks good, looks good. But they always put this one thing. At the tail end, they always got natural flavors. Now, somebody tell me what natural flavors means. Natural flavors is an excitotoxin. Okay, and what an excitotoxin does, MSG is an excitotoxin, uh, aspartame is an excitotoxin, but it's more important that we understand what it does. It crosses the blood-brain barrier, and it will excite the neurons in your brain to death. So guess what? You have fewer. Each time you put something in your mouth that is, has an ingredient that's an excitotoxin, that's what it does to you. We have diseases that are off the charts now because they're neurological. Uh, Alzheimer's, <laughs> whoa, you know, um, we have ALS, we have uh, uh, all these neurological diseases. And people, so, what is natural flavors? I mean, you say it's excitotoxin. What? It's called excitotoxin natural flavor. I mean, you know what? What? Why do they call it natural flavors? If I got a natural flavor, they go, it's a uh, orange zest. I mean, it's you know, a food flavoring. It's a you know, and it's you know, it's a food flavoring. Which and is what? Do we even know? It's how our body reacts to these chemicals that they're creating. So it's, you know, it's what Dr. Blaylock calls an excitotoxin. Okay. Well, we need to find out more. We'll be looking on that because I I can see where this is going. You know, they, they say, nope, 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 nope. We're not going to tell you everything, you know, what, what's all in there and uh, anything we just want to throw in. And it's like, it's a, it's less than 2% by weight. It's just a little bitty teeny weeny bit of poison that we call natural flavors. Just a little bit. You know, so I'm going, okay, so what's this natural flavor thing? Well, we'll, we'll go ahead and do some research on that in a break and so on because I need to know. This is that they always throw it in. And it's, going to, and it's always called natural, organic, something, you know. So they got all this. They've taken the fructose out. But, you know, it's like you can get up to 2% of something. Well, they just throw it under natural flavors. And I've been mm -hmm. hearing that. And that's where the MSG kind of stuff mm -hmm. comes in. they got all kinds of different stuff that they always call it something. But we're going to get into the Codex Alimentarius and see what that is and how it affects us and what we uh, can look forward to. And then maybe some S510 bill and what they want to do with the food and all that. We'll, we'll, we'll get into all that with Janine Zucker when we come back here on Declare Your Independence. You guys don't go away. You just stay right there.